Okay, so in the hoard here, have some, uh, well, Asansi light here. And, uh, this guy here, they sent me for review. It's virtually the exact same as the one that's already on the house. But this is a newer model, so might as well install it. Uh, there you guys go. It says new. I don't know if that means it's a new model, but there's the model number right there. So it's a C2440 MW, 45 water. You can set it to go up to 10 minutes every time. And uh, let's just pull it out here and uh, install it. So just be a second. Uh, one thing I should mention, my dad also got the same light. Uh, so I might share some of my video with him because it's uh, too hard for him to put up this year. But let you guys read that if you care to. The little user manual here. Kind of nice seeing a natural user manual with it. So this is going to be a few pages. Sometimes they have modes where you flick on and off the light three times and you can lock them to be on permanently. So I don't know if they're going to get into any of that in here. Nope. Oh, off. No, I don't see anything here for that. Test mode. There you go, there's the auto mode. Eight hours, test it on. Oh, it does. That's kind of nice. It has a dust to dawn mode. Uh, I don't think my other one had that. So maybe, yeah, this one here. I'll know when I take down the old one, but five year limited warranty. Take a quick peek at it. I already had this box opened quickly. Comes nicely sealed up. You guys can check that out. Lots of LED lights on her. Oh, that's awfully dark in there. That's interesting. No. Rip roll open and install her. This is made the very end of 2021. Date, yeah, so 2022 model. I don't think I need any of this here because I'll reuse all that from the other one because it's virtually the exact same model. Well, I just popped this old guy off here and uh, is those feathers? Nah, that's just insulation. It actually does look like the same model. Uh, oh no, it's a little bit different. Okay, so let's see if I can put them side by side before I swap them. So these have a diffuser on the front of them, and the uh, other one does not. A slight difference there. As for the actual motion sensor itself, this one is white, and this one is uh, pretty dark. Huh. Okay, well... I guess I'll uh, take my tester, verify that I have no voltage going to her, and swap her out. But it's going to be a pretty snowy day, that's for sure. Really? Are you enjoying your new light? Did the motion light wake you up, Fluffy? You don't like me talking to you, do you? You're scared at proxy. Just do a quick shot here. Yeah, that lights up the yard pretty nicely. Yeah, that's perfect. Any heat? No heat. But I get a bit of a shot of it in a bit here, but just had a deer in the yard and set it off, so. Decided I'd just get a quick shot. <laughs> you can actually see the smoke from the wood stove. <laughs> yeah. That is pretty sweet. Besides those cables, then I'm too lazy to hook up. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, might not be too bad of a night. A little bit of a dark night. It's currently sitting at about minus two. And, uh... 
Check out the motion light real quick here. It's pretty dark out here. Ooh, that turned on immediately. Wow. That has some pretty good detection range. Literally, the second I got right to the corner, it turned on. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, wow. All I know is it's bright enough that all the cameras all the way around the corner, everything is full color when it turns on immediately. So that's nice. Uh, I don't have any lights on in here. Yeah, that's pretty damn bright. Camera's not doing the justice, of course, but what I want to see. Oh, that makes it nice. Okay, you probably can't see much in here. Uh, I got it set to stay on for 10 minutes, but that's pretty good. It actually lights this area up enough, and that's kind of the idea of having it. To light up a little bit in here. So when I get in to turn on the light, normally I, I do got the light on a switch in the house so I could just turn it on with the switch because it's just ran by an extension cord, but that is pretty good. But get a little bit of an up close here. And as for the brightness, it's definitely a little bit brighter than uh the previous light, uh, look at the deer prints, hey? Oh boy. Just wanna look at the direction of the light here. Can't really see it on the camera the best, but it's giving me light all the way to where the firewood or fire pit is, which is filled right up with snow. But yeah, that's definitely pretty awesome. Well. I don't think I'll film much more than that. Ooh, it doesn't like that mold. It's weird, I go ultra wide and it's just super dark on the camera. Go here and that's about how I'm seeing, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Maybe a random picture, but I think that's gonna be the end of this review. Uh, sensitivity is absolutely perfect. I haven't seen any false alarms or false alerts yet, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I thought might as well try to get a, a little bit of an up close shot here. Probably just gonna blind the shit out of the camera, I'll dim it down, but Huh. Interesting, I hear a hum. I hear a slight hum coming off it. <laughs> that's not bad. Okay. Back inside a goo. And look at that, it's giving light. You can see my shadow, maybe not, but it's giving light all the way to the end of my driveway, right up to the road. That's pretty awesome, but mostly where I needed it. No other lights are on, so that worked out perfect. 